Welcome to. Welcome to. Welcome to. Welcome to. Assalamualaikum. My name is Dr. Hazim Ghani, and I'm currently the program leader for BHSC Biomedical Science at UBD. Assalamualaikum. I'm Dr. Amalina. I'm the current assistant program leader for BHSC Biomedical Science. Um, are you sure like, it's gonna uh, go okay for me? The main objective of the BHSC Biomedical Science program is to equip students with fundamental and applied knowledge in the various biomedical science fields such as biochemistry, hematology, microbiology, and immunology. I've realized that I want to work in lab experiments during my A-level. Seeing the solutions bubbling up or changing colors make my heart flutter. So far, as a second year student, I feel like my favorite module would have to be the biolaboratory skills module because it exposes us to practical experience. So for example, we, I have learned the skills on how to use HL electrophoresis or even to learn how to read a spectrophotometer using a micro pipette and so on. And I feel like as someone who loves doing practical work, it's really a invaluable experience for me to be able to have and gain these skills, which will be useful for my future career. Um, also, in their final year, they will get to do an independent research project and this will help to further develop their practical and analytical skills in the field of biomedical science. Common misconceptions from students include that they think the course is not as challenging as, let's say, the medicine or dentistry programs, or that it's heavily cited on the practical side of things, but there's actually quite a lot of aspect involved. One of the most challenging aspects is the amount of independent learning that is required. Personally, I think you have to be proactive in understanding materials and managing multiple assignments at the same time. Assessments vary depending on the individual modules in the program. Uh, for some, you can have the traditional exam format at the end of the semester. For others, it's a collection of different coursework, including essay write-ups, lab report submissions uh, with quizzes. I didn't know what to do and all the essays I know was like making stories and I've never made a scientific essay before. It's difficult at first but uh, as time goes by I think it's doable to do to balance academic and extra curriculum. Yeah. I would say to spend a bit more time after lectures just so you can understand the materials better and enhance your understanding so it can be better for you in the future. I had a module called RDM and I was tasked to create a research proposal and for that research proposal as a first year student it was very overwhelming to do however with the support system that I had from my supervisor I was able to carry out my task efficiently and also she helped to give constructive uh, feedback as well as she helped me understand any aspects where I feel like I lacked of as well I like talking to my cohort mates so seeing that they are coming from different backgrounds like for example some of my friends are coming from Polytechnic and I'm from A-Levels. So I didn't really know what I wanted to be when I grew up. So during my A-Levels, I just took all the subjects that I was interested in, which is Bio, Biology, Chemistry and Maths. And exchanging these skills and to do the same course is kind of an eye-opening to me. I hope this university can provide us exposure on how uh, this course can be helpful in a work setting. I believe that it can make our transition from university to work can be as easy as it can. The thing I most enjoyed is doing the experiments that I was taught during my O-levels and A-levels and actually doing it by myself. It's been a journey of growth and learning. The program itself is a bit challenging but it's also exciting as we dive deep into subjects such as pathology, immunology, enzymology and genetics. 
Each subject has its own complexities, but they all contribute to a bigger picture on how we understand diseases. Because students are going to make a blood donation drive. Um, I find that exciting, even though I'm scared of needles, but I, I'm trying to overcome it. So doing this is going to make me be more social, like meet more people, meet people that I don't know at all. It's a steep learning curve, but I think it's a good start to build a good study habit.